Taiwan and Chinese eye each other as drills due to end. Historical bridge burned down after China fired missiles. China expands and extends military drills around Taiwan. Taiwan to hold live fire artillery drills. U.S. missile range instrumentation ship is near Okinawa. U.S.-India joint military exercise near border with China. Ukraine shuts down huge bot farm pushing Russian propaganda. Taiwan clinches 33 gold medals at World Police and Fire Games. Hello, I'm Johnny. Thank you for joining us on Funday News. It's Monday, August 8th, and here are your top stories. Reuters reported that warships from both sides of the Taiwan Strait play high seas cat and mouse on Sunday, hours before the schedule end of four days of unprecedented Chinese military exercises. According to a person with knowledge of the matter, some 10 warships each from China and Taiwan sailed close to each other in the Taiwan Strait on Sunday. As Chinese forces pressed the line, the Taiwan side stayed close to monitor and, where possible, denied the Chinese the ability to cross. After weeks of buildup, U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has finally arrived in Taiwan, and China has already responded. Moments after Pelosi landed, China's Navy announced a series of exercises in waters around Taiwan. According to Reuters, the person described the maneuvers as high seas cat and mouse. He said, as one side tries to cross and the other stands in the way and forces them to a more disadvantaged position and eventually to return to the other side. The person said that Taiwan's shore base anti-ship missiles and its Patriot surface-to-air missiles were on standby. The two sides are showing restraint. Taiwan's military on Saturday said that the Chinese were conducting a simulated attack on Taiwan. The previously longest lounge bridge in China, with a length of nearly 100 meters that was built in the North Song Dynasty, burned down during the night of August 6. The Wannan Bridge, located in Ningde City, Pingnan County of Fujian Province, was a designated relic of cultural protection. The local police said that no injuries or casualties have been reported and the cause of the fire is under criminal investigation. The media said that the main structure of the bridge reportedly collapsed after the fire raged for about 20 minutes. According to Penghai News, the bridge burst into flames around 9 p.m. local time. Since the bridge was made of wood, the fire spread to its five wooden piers and 38 wooden lounges very quickly. The report said the Wanan Bridge had been burned during the Qing Dynasty and rebuilt in 1742 when it was ruled by Emperor Qianlong. It was a valuable relic in the history of ancient bridge technology of China. The fire accident caused a flurry of speculation as it comes after China fired missiles threatening Taiwan with military drills. After being critically denounced as not enough by domestic nationalists, the media reported that the Chinese Liberation Army Eastern Theater Command announced that on Sunday, August 7th, the command scheduled to continue military drills around Taiwan. The PLA will conduct air and sea joint live fire combat training, focus testing on joint ground strikes and long-range air strikes in the vicinity of Taiwan. However, the command gave no information on the time frame in which the military exercise will end. In 2022, against all advice from the U.S. administration and the White House, as has been reported, she went ahead with the visit. In a move attempting to provoke a similar warning against its neighboring countries and to prepare for holding back support for Taiwan, China has announced additional live-fire drills in the Bohai and Yellow Seas. On Saturday, China's Dalian Maritime Safety Administration announced five exclusion zones in the Yellow Sea, where exercises would take place from August 5th to August 15th as well as an additional four zones in the Bohai Sea, where a month of unspecified Chinese military operations would take place from August 8th. Taiwan State Media Central News Agency cited a source as saying that on Sunday, Taiwan's army will conduct live-fire artillery drills in Pingdong County on Tuesday, August 9th, and Thursday, August 11th, to test combat readiness in response to recent Chinese live-fire military exercises surrounding Taiwan. In addition, the Army will conduct its annual military exercises on September 5th, also in Pingdong, involving snipers from combined arms battalions, combat vehicles, clouded leopard armor vehicles, and mortars. According to the report, the planned drills at Fengyang in a southern Taiwan county will involve the firing of 78 155mm self-propelled howitzers and six 120-millimeter mortars. 
These drills will be carried out by the 8th Army Corps, 43rd Artillery Command, and the 333rd Mechanized Infantry Brigade, the Defense Commands in Hualien and Taidong Counties in eastern Taiwan, and the Coast Guard. The Army's AH-1W Super Cobra and AH-64 Apache attack helicopters will also be deployed during the exercises. The USNS Howard L. Lorenzen Missile Range Instrumentation Ship is confirmed in the water near Naha, Okinawa. The ship carries a next-generation active electronically scanned array radar system integrating X and S band antennas. X and S band active arrays can provide high-quality, high-resolution, and multi-wavelength radar intelligence data. China's Marine Vessels Probing Network, known as the South China Sea Strategic Situation Probing Initiative, claimed it was deployed there on August 7th. The media reported that following the USS Ronald Reagan strike group that has been deployed in the water between Japan and Taiwan for days, the USNS Howard O. Lorenzen Missile Range Instrumentation Ship has also come into position near Okinawa. As its X and S-band active array radar are capable of wide-range searching as well as multi-target processing, identification, and monitoring, the ship is speculated as preparing for collecting data of missiles targeting nearby water. The distance from Naha, Okinawa to Keelong is 607 kilometers. CN reported that the United States is to take part in a joint military exercise with India less than 100 kilometers from India's disputed border with China. The military drills will be held in mid-October at an altitude of 10,000 feet in Ali, which is in the Indian state of Uttarakhand, and will focus on high-altitude warfare training. Ali is about 95 kilometers from the line of actual control, LAC, an inhospitable piece of land where the disputed border between India and China is roughly demarcated. CNN said that the drills will take place as part of the 18th edition of an annual joint exercise known as War Practice. Back in June 2020, at least 20 Indian troops and four Chinese soldiers died in a bloody clash between India and China in the area in the Himalayas. Recently, China built a bridge across the Pangong Tsao Lake that sits along the border. Tensions have been raised further by the Indian government, condemning the move as an illegal occupation. The media reported that last Tuesday, the security service of Ukraine announced it had dismantled a bar farm which belonged to an unnamed Russian citizen in Kyiv, which was secretly operating in the capital and managing more than 1 million baht accounts, helping the Russian propaganda agencies build an audience of over 400,000 users on social media. According to the Secret Service, the bot farm was using 5,000 SIM cards and 200 proxy servers to spread the propaganda online. The Secret Service of Ukraine said that the SIM cards and proxy servers allow the propaganda operation to spoof various IP addresses and register fake users' accounts without tipping off social media services and their anti-bot measures. Through bots, they spread fake news about the situation on the front and carry out subversive information operations. This included trying to discredit Ukraine's first lady and President Zelensky. The bot farm was also used by Russian special services. According to the Central News Agency, Taiwan, with a total of only 18 police officers and 8 firefighters, clinched 33 gold, 22 silver, and 20 bronze medals at the 2022 Rotterdam World Police and Fire Games. Among the roughly 10,000 competitors from nearly 66 countries that competed from July 22nd to 31st, Taiwan ranked 13th using its actual name Taiwan. In the agency category, Chinese Taipei National Police ranked 6th with 22 gold. The World Police and Fire Games is a biennial athletic event, open to active and retired law enforcement and fire service personnel throughout the world. The games attract approximately 10,000 entrants, slightly fewer than the Summer Olympic Games, but more than the Commonwealth Games. Taiwan's National Police Agency said that Taiwan pocketed 11 gold, 8 silver, and 7 bronze medals in judo, while bagging 5 gold, 4 silver, and 9 bronze medals in taekwondo and karate. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us on Funday News. Let's make every day a fun day. I'm Johnny Wu, your host. I'll see you next time.